We all know that you can use an HSL adjustment to change an object's color. But how can you change an object to a specific color? How can you change a sweater not just so that it's blue, but to an exact shade of blue? This can be pretty tricky to do, but in this video, I'm going to break it down nice and simple so that anyone can do it. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to this photo in the video description. So to get started, I first need to create a swatch of the exact color that I want to use. So we're going to change her sweater today into an exact shade of blue. So to represent that, <laughs> I'm going to come down to our rectangle tool and click and drag out a swatch. And now I need the exact shade of blue for this rectangle. And there's actually a pretty nice website for this. It's called brandcolors.net. On this website, it has a ton of different brands and the exact colors that they use for their products. So let's pretend like this girl is doing some kind of a Walmart ad campaign. <laughs> so let's go ahead and type in Walmart. And we're going to use this first shade of blue today. And it's pretty nice. You can look down in the right hand corner. When I click on this, it automatically copies its hex code into my clipboard. So just click on it and then we're gonna come back to our document. And now we can use this hex code for this rectangle. Now, how you do this is you first need to come to the color panel. And then we don't wanna use the color wheel. We wanna change this to sliders. And then where it says RGB, let's change it to RGB hex. And RGB hex gives us the option down here where we can put in an exact hex code. So I'm going to press Command or Control V to paste that in. And then I'm going to press Enter. And that exact shade of Walmart blue is now applied to our rectangle. And we're going to use this as a reference as we're changing the color of her sweater. So now I'm going to go back to my layers. And I'm going to select the girl because we need to sample the color from her sweater. And we're going to use this sample to compare it to the Walmart blue. So I'm going to take my lasso tool and select part of her sweater. To create this sample color swatch, we don't want to use too dark of shadows or too bright of highlights. They won't accurately represent the color of her sweater. So I'm just going to select part of her sleeve right here. And with that selected, I'm going to put this selection of her sleeve onto its own layer. So press Command or Control J to do that. And now we can go ahead and press Command or Control D to deselect. And here we have a sample of her sleeve in the Layers panel, which is pretty nice, but we don't want all this texturing. We want an exact solid block of color that we can compare to the Walmart blue. So with that part of her sleeve selected, I'm going to go to the top to Filters, Blur, Average. This has created a nice square of solid color that we can use. So I'm going to press V for my Move tool. And I'm going to move this square up and next to our blue square. With our squares side by side, I'm going to be able to see very clearly which adjustments I need to apply to the red to turn it into this blue color. So to start, I'm first going to duplicate our blue color. So I'm going to select this blue rectangle and I'm going to press Command or Control J to duplicate it. With it duplicated, I'm first going to make it a child layer to our red rectangle. Then I'll click and drag it down so that it's covering the red rectangle. And I'm going to change its blend mode from normal to color. So this has made it so we now have a rectangle that we can click and drag over our sweater and it'll change it to this shade of blue. But it's not quite the exact shade we're looking for. It's close, but it's a little too dark. So to fix this, we're going to apply a levels adjustment. 
So come down to your adjustment studio and then go to the top to levels. With our levels adjustment, we can adjust the black level slider to make our color darker, but we don't want to do that, we want to make it lighter. So we're going to use the white level slider, and we're going to bring it down until the blues match exactly. So I'm thinking this looks pretty good. Maybe a little less. All right. There we go. So we now have two adjustments we've done, this rectangle changed to a color blend mode and our levels adjustment, and we're going to use these on her sweater. So first, I'm going to hold down Command or Control and click on each of these adjustments, and then I'm going to put them in a group that we can use for her sweater. So press Command or Control G to group them. And now we can click and drag it out of this background layer to the top of our layer stack. And we can delete these extra rectangles because we don't need them anymore. With our group selected, we can click and drag this over her sweater. And now her sweater is the exact shade of blue we're looking for, but we're not done yet. We want the blue just on the sweater, not all over her face in the background because this obviously isn't right. So I'm going to turn off this group for right now, select the girl, and now we're going to select her sweater. So grab your selection brush tool, and we can adjust the brush size of this using the bracket keys, and paint on a selection. If you ever select too much, you can change the mode in the context toolbar from add to subtract. Or if you want to do it in a quicker way, you can leave it in add mode, but hold down alter option while you're painting, and that will get rid of parts of the selection that you don't want to keep. With our selection made, we can now refine our selection up in the context toolbar. And now I'm going to paint over the edges of her hair that are on top of the sweater to tell Affinity to take a second look. With our selection refined, I'm going to press apply. And now we have a selection of her sweater. Now I can turn back on this group of our adjustments and I'm going to select it and apply a mask to it. So now the blue color is just masked to the sweater. So press Command or Control D to deselect. And now I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. You can still see around the edges of her hair that there's some blue poking out. So to do this cleanup, select the mask. And we can paint on the mask to remove this blue coloring. So in your colors panel, make sure that your color is black and black will conceal these adjustments. So select your paintbrush tool by pressing B, and now we can paint it off. This is looking pretty good now. We have the Walmart blue mask to her sweater, and the selection is looking pretty good. But there's one more trick that you can do to make this look even more realistic. When we changed the levels adjustment, we made the colors brighter, which affected the shadows. Now the shadows in our image are being brightened as well, and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to come back to our layers, select the levels adjustment, and now we can change the blend ranges to bring back some of the darkness in the shadows so that the brightness isn't being applied to them. So come up to blend ranges on this gear icon. And now I can bring down this shadows knob and it'll bring back some of these natural shadows. Now this works because we made the levels adjustment brighter. So we're adding back in some of the shadows so that the levels aren't being applied. But if when you were doing this, you made your levels adjustment darker to match the colors, 
you can use this highlights knob and bring it down so that your highlights aren't being darkened by your levels adjustment. So we're going to bring down our shadows. And now it's looking great. Here's our before, and here's our after with the exact shade of Walmart blue. Now that you know how to change your colors to exact colors, you might want to change some of the shadows in your pictures. If you want to remove shadows from faces, you can check out this video over here, which breaks down some very simple steps that you can take to improve any of your pictures. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial. This video is not being sponsored by Walmart. <laughs> okay. <laughs>